Welcome to the web-based training on the patentability of computer-implemented inventions. Through this course, you will learn about the requirements for patentability in general, as well as the legal basis and the specific criteria for patentability in the field of information technology. In Module 1, after a short introduction, we will go directly to the topics of patentability and exclusions to patentability in Europe. At the end of the module, you will be presented with some examples of patentable and non-patentable subject matter. Take your time and work through the course without rushing. Let's start with the meaning of the terms computer program, software and algorithm used with respect to patentability of subject matter in the field of information technology. A computer program is a sequence of computational steps which may be effectively performed by a digital computer. The steps of a computer program are written in a systematic notation known as a programming language. A computer program is often termed as the code. The term software is also used as synonym for computer program. However, for some computer professionals, the term software encompasses the media, for example, diskette, CD or DVD, on which software is stored, as well as all kinds of documentation, such as books and manuals, etc., that are delivered with the computer program. The term algorithm can be defined as a systematic procedure for accomplishing a task in a finite number of steps. In the context of computers, the term algorithm is often used with respect to a set of ordered steps for solving a problem or providing an output from a specific set of inputs. In this context, an algorithm describes the concept underlying a computer program. There are typically many different possible computer implementations of an algorithm. Since it is an algorithm which defines the concept underlying an invention, the scope of protection sought ideally encompasses all computer implementations of an algorithm. In practice, the physical implementation of an algorithm can be performed either through a computer program running on a standard computer, potentially in combination with specific circuits, or through specific circuits alone. As we will see, when an algorithm, wholly or partly implemented in a computer program, defines the underlying concept of an invention, that invention is termed a computer-implemented invention. In other words, an invention whose implementation involves the use of a computer computer network or other programmable apparatus, the invention having one or more features which are realized wholly or partly by means of a computer program, is termed a computer-implemented invention. Here are some examples of computer-implemented inventions. A program-controlled fault-tolerance scheme, washing machine cycle, car braking system. Let us briefly consider what patents are and why applicants apply for them. A patent is an exclusive right that is granted in return for the disclosure of technical information. The applicant is required to disclose his invention so that it can be carried out by the skilled reader. The exclusive right granted to the applicant gives him the right to control the way the patented invention is exploited for a 20-year period. Can patents be granted for computer-implemented inventions? Yes, patents are granted by the European Patent Office for computer-implemented inventions if they satisfy the conditions and criteria of patentability laid down in the European Patent Convention, EPC. The legal basis for granting patents for computer-implemented inventions by the European Patent Office is given by the Articles and Implementing Regulations of the European Patent Convention and its interpretation through the case law of the Boards of Appeal of the EPO. In Europe, certain subject matter and activities are excluded altogether from patentability. We will now look at what is and what is not excluded from patentability in the field of information technology by reference to the EPC and relevant case law of the EPO Boards of Appeal. Let us look at the provisions of the EPC regarding patentability. Article 52.1 EPC 
refers to four criteria that subject matter must satisfy in order to be patentable. Article 52.1 EPC reads, European patents shall be granted for any inventions in all fields of technology, provided that they are new, involve an inventive step, and are susceptible of industrial application. It is notable that the EPC does not provide a definition for the term invention. In this first module, we will focus on clarifying when the first criterion, that of subject matter being an invention, is fulfilled. In a second module, we will see how we check the remaining criteria. Although the EPC does not provide a positive definition of an invention, it provides through Article 52, Paragraph 2, a non-exhaustive list of items that should not be regarded as inventions, that is, subject matter and activities excluded from patentability. Article 52, Paragraph 3 restricts the breadth of those exclusions. Specifically, Article 52, Paragraph 2 specifies the following in particular shall not be regarded as inventions, discoveries, scientific theories, mathematical methods, aesthetic creations, schemes, rules and methods for performing mental acts, playing games and doing business, programs for computers, presentations of information. Paragraph 3 specifies that the provisions of Paragraph 2 shall exclude patentability of the subject matter or activities referred to in that provision only to the extent to which a European patent application relates to such subject matter or activities as such. As already mentioned, this list of non-inventions is not exhaustive, as Article 52, Paragraph 2 only refers to those listed items in particular. Furthermore, Paragraph 3 states that the exclusions only apply when applications relate to subject matter or activities as such, without further specifying what exactly as such means. Therefore, we can see that there is a need to interpret the provisions of Article 52 in order to understand what is considered to be excluded from patentability. Such interpretation is given through relevant decisions of the Boards of Appeal. Prior to moving on to the interpretation of the Boards of Appeal, we will look at two rules of the implementing regulations which are of importance with respect to the interpretation of patentable subject matter. Rules 42 and 43 state, respectively, the requirements which the description and claims must meet. Rule 42 requires that the technical information in the application is sufficient for the skilled person to put the invention into practice and to recognize the contribution of the invention to a technical field in terms of a solution to a technical problem. Rule 43 ensures that the claimed invention is defined in terms of its technical features. According to the interpretation given by the Boards of Appeal, an invention always has a technical character. This means an invention must have application in a technical field. It results from technical skills and it is described in terms of technical features and describes a proposed technical solution to a technical problem. As we have just seen, this interpretation is supported by the implementing regulations of the EPC. The word technical has been mentioned frequently, but no definition of what it means has been given. Intentionally, there is no definition of the word technical in the EPC. Indeed, it is extremely difficult to provide a future-proof definition for the word technical that would be valid across all fields of technology. Rather than attempt a general definition of the meaning of the word technical, in this grey area requiring interpretation, it is EPO practice to stake out its meaning through individual Boards of Appeal decisions. Based on Boards of Appeal decisions, here are some examples of what is considered to be technical. Processing physical data in a system which affects the control of an industrial process. Processing which affects the way in which a computer operates, such as a file compression algorithm. Also, any physical apparatus such as a computer or any of its components are considered to be technical. Subject matter or activities considered to be non-technical 
are purely abstract concepts such as sales methods, trading, insurance schemes, business administration acts, for example, choosing amongst candidates for a job, modeling a system, or mathematical methods describing the physical effects of an electronic filter. Such activities and or subject matter are all non-inventions according to the provisions of Article 52.2 and 3 EPC. The decisions of the Boards of Appeal have provided the following guidance. Activities falling within the notion of a non-invention would typically represent purely abstract concepts devoid of any technical implication, that is, the term as such restricts the excluded subject matter to abstract ideas lacking in technical character. You can access the full text of the decision by clicking on the underlined link. With respect to computer programs, the decisions of the Boards of Appeal have made clear that the requirement of technical character is only satisfied if a program is capable of causing a further technical effect when run on a computer, that is, a technical effect which goes beyond the normal technical effects, such as the flow of electricity in a computer, which are always present when a program runs on a computer. These normal effects are not sufficient to confer a technical character to a computer program. To summarize what we have learned, an invention embodied in a computer program is termed a computer implemented invention. We recall that it is an implicit requirement of the EPC that an invention must have technical character. The decisions of the Boards of Appeal have provided guidance as to what is considered to be technical subject matter in the field of information technology. We have also seen that, according to the Boards of Appeal, computer programs are excluded from patentability under Article 52.2 and 3 if they are not capable of causing a further technical effect. In this example, a decision support scheme is defined by viewing a supply chain through decision support frames, creating modelling processes for analysing the chain, and managing the execution of the modelling processes to provide information for said frames. The subject matter defines an abstract idea as to how one might wish to provide information in a decision-making process. The idea is defined without any hint of technical consideration and therefore lacks any technical character. There is no possibility of forming any technical problem from the claim and is therefore considered to be a non-invention as a business method as such. In this example, a method of controlling a physical process is defined by the application of a mathematical method which results in the control of that physical process. The subject matter is directed to the control of a process which does not fall under the list of exclusions in Article 52.2. Indeed, the control function, defined by the mathematical method embodied as a computer program, is capable of causing a technical effect when run on a computer and therefore has technical character. Here, the method describes the steps necessary to carry out a modelling task. Although that modelling task is directed to a system which may itself be technical, the modelling per se is an intellectual task and as such lacks technical character. The method described in this example differs from the previous example in that the non-technical method is implemented in a computer system. The use of technical means such as a computer to carry out a non-technical method is sufficient to convey a technical character. It is noted that additional non-technical aspects of the subject matter cannot take away the technical character of the technical means. In this example, the method defines how information is to be presented. No technical meaning can be associated with any of the terms either independently or in combination with one another. The method merely describes an idea as to how information can be presented and hence lacks technical character. You have now reached the end of Module 1. You may now move on to Module 2, where you will learn how computer-implemented inventions are examined at the European Patent Office for novelty, inventive step and industrial applicability.